Oh, dippity doo da, dippity day. I got the slippers on every day. I'm gonna rock them. I'm gonna roll them. I think I'm wearing the same shirt for three days now. I'm a dirt bag. I'm a dirt bag. When you look at me, you know what to say. Turbo, he's a dirt bag. Okay. Are we recording? Make sure we got that for the Grammys. Are we recording? All right, good. You sexy bastards. Hello. I'm recording this today. You're seeing it. I, 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 I got fucking sore stains. I got sore stains on my shirt. Things are going crazy. Okay. Um. No, just just this this week, man. I lost time. 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 Waits for nobody. Freddie Mercury, I love you. Let me kiss your mustache. So. This week, man, where do I want to start? We got a lot on the chopping block today for professional child, you sexy bastards. What I want to get into first, um, that I can talk about later, um, that I can talk about later, and that I can talk about later. I guess I'll start out with this. You sexy bastards, your boy got a fucking job! <laughs> Where's the, uh... Uh, the f- oh, who cares? Uh, that, that's not it. That's, that's Mike Francesca. That's for the, the Weekly Issue podcast. I got a fucking job! You sexy bastards, um... You know the deal. Okay, you know the fucking deal. I'm a fucking struggling open mic comic, okay, um, who basically is uh, 22 turning, uh, you know, 22 going on 12. That's basically who I am. So, um, you sexy bastards, I, 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 let me tell you something. Being, if, if you don't know anybody in this industry that, you know, is just fucking struggling, is fucking grinding to get anything, any fucking ounce of success in their, in their industry or their career, um, especially when it comes to you know actual performing arts like a stand up stand up comedy um or fucking po- or, or on even if you're doing fucking poetry on stage a musician a rapper a fucking mu- a fucking singer anybody who does things like that that has to pretty much get what they want and they have to produce it out of thin air and they're the ones to pretty much they're the only ones that has the reins on their fucking career you'll you'll understand if you're someone who can maybe relate a fucking pubic hair to me, the, the, the life I live, I can never, you can never get comfortable. You can never be satisfied with your last project because it's always what's next on the horizon. You can never really be happy for yourself because the fucking the, the, the industry I'm in, just speaking for my own terms in comedy, there's a ton of fucking rejection. There's always no. There's always the situations that make you feel like you're not worthy. And then I know a lot of people feel the way in terms of a lot of things in normal 9 to 5 life. But when it comes to the fact that, you know, I'm growing up now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be 23 next year. I'm 22. Um... You know, I, I I fall in the fucking category of I feel like I'm not doing enough with my life, and then I feel like I'm not, you know, I, I'm not doing enough with my life, and then I feel like I'm not settling down to enjoy life. But listen, at the end of the day, you sexy bastards. Um, I told you in the past, like last summer, I was a host at a restaurant. Um, now, um, you know, I I, I started applying for jobs. You sexy bastards, listen, you know, a fucking comedian got to eat. All right, fuck a comedian gotta fucking eat, okay? Um, I, I, like I told you, I was dealing with a bunch of... If you guys are listeners of the show, um, you'll understand. Um, I had to deal with uh, getting my own insurance this year. I had just a lot, a lot of big boy stuff. I don't want to fucking deal with a lot of fucking like, adult shit that's making you sink in to make you realize, like, this is what fucking life's about. This is what fucking life is. So anyway... Um, you know, just t- times have times have been struggling. So I said, motherfucker, I I can't just be like like some people in my family. I I can't be just sitting on my ass all day waiting for shit to happen. I can't I I I can't be a fucking freeloader. I can't be you know okay, mommy and daddy for the rest of my fucking life. It can't happen because the situation I'm in and being a comic. You look for every single help you can get. You 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 look for every single ounce of you know a push in any direction you can get. And when I'm these past few months, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's been a lot of dead ends. It's been a lot of just struggling family wise. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. So every day for the past month, I've been applying on Indeed. Fuck it. Listen to me. You're not paying me money now. But in the future, when the story goes viral and, and, you know, a little blonde albino kid needed a job and he went on Indeed and he got a job, 
That's a story we can sell. Pay me no less than $600,000. Um, so, no, yeah, I'm applying. And listen, motherfuckers, when, when, when you're least expecting it, that's when you get a, some good news. So that's when you get something. So I apply for, I'm, I'm in Brooklyn. Coney Island is a place where I grew up. You know, if you play GTA 4, the fucking place you go to where you take fucking Nico. Oh, not, yeah, 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 who's the other guy? Yeah, yeah, you're playing as Nico. Nico Bellic. Who's your cousin? Whatever the fucking cousin name is. I can't believe I forgot the guy from GTA 4, his cousin. But that's where you go to play bowling. GTA in the game. You know what I'm saying? So Coney Island. Um, you know, they have, you know, the Rise Amusement Park, Luna Park, look it up, you know, come now. I'm gonna be working there for the games, like the game operator, sometimes I'll have a fucking mic, I'll be fucking, I'll be busting balls, I'll be able to be myself, actually, in a job. I, I was, I was very happy. Now, here's the fucking funny thing. I apply for other jobs, too, fucking janitor at a church, janitor at a bowling alley, um, a fucking, um, what you call, I, I believe, and listen, this may be, you know, health code or whatever, I ain't even get, and I, I don't, you know, listen, I know how to do CPR, my eighth grade did a little thing where you press a dummy once and then you're good, get out of here, so I'm pretty sure I think I am certified CPR, um, I applied to be a fucking lifeguard, I haven't swam in a minute, um, you know, so I applied for that, um, so I was applying for a lot of jobs, my resume, um, Fabricated? Yes, but you know what's gonna happen is um, I have street experience. You know, like for example, like some of these fucking jobs, it's like stock shelves, minimum year in retail, five, ten years. I mean, listen, lady, listen, lady, I think I had this conversation before with these sexy bastards where when you apply for jobs right now, and then like, for and, 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 let's say for example, you have to go in for an interview before you get the fucking job and you see the other people there going for the job, and then you're looking at them like, that guy got one fucking eyeball, he can't speak English, that guy's in a wheelchair, God bless, but there's no ramps in this fucking pizzeria. So, you know, you start to question, you know, and then you don't get hired, and you're like, what the fuck's wrong with this maybe they saw the show um but no i'm really happy i'm starting my job oh this saturday i got orientation uh, like you know for the new staff members or whatever but this is just a job that i feel like fits fucking me and i'm gonna knock on wood right now because the way my life is i feel like something's going good and then it gets right fucking down to zero life likes to push me down when things are going good so um so that happened this week guys i i i get a random phone call uh one day last i forgot what day i believe it was last thursday Almost a week to today, I get a phone call, um, and they're like, "Hey, is is, is this so and so?" And I'm like, "Yes, it's him." And he's like, and then the the lady's like, b b "Very nice people." Um, are you still interested in the game operating job? And now, now I swear to God, I I, I didn't remember applying for this job. I, I, I'm sitting down on my computer and I'm looking at the phone. No, no, my phone rings and I get a ton of fucking scams. All right. I love the scam calls sometimes. I answer them. I sometimes fuck with them, you know? So I'm talking and I'm working. I'm editing something for the weekly issue, which if you don't know, the weekly issue podcast has to do with Marvel, MCU, Star Wars, anything nerd related you love. The weekly issue podcast, I do it with my friend Vinny every single week, Monday. A lot of shorts, a lot of videos. Watch it. So, I'm, I'm working on a thing for that, and I get a phone call. It's a, it's a Brooklyn area code. Um, the number looks fucking somewhat normal. It's not like an 800 or a fucking 200 number, right? And, I, and I'm like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to let it go. But now I remember, I'm like, you know, let me just see. Because I, I remember I did a, put a lot of applications for jobs, right? So, I'm like, hello? They answer, and I'm like, who is this again? Because I'm like, is this good news? This isn't a call trying to make me buy a fake insurance. So, you know, I got excited and I went in for the interview. You know, I, I was myself. I told them I do stand-up comedy and I'm a comedian. So I can deal with a couple of fucking bad attitudes. You know, I can deal with the little, uh, a little frustration from people. I get heckled and thrown shit at for a living. So do not worry. Um, hopefully it goes good. You know, I, they, of course, there's going to be days where I'm, I just want to go to fucking work, make my paycheck, and get the fuck out of there. I don't want to be enthusiastic. Do you want to play the game? Like, but hey, listen, motherfuckers, it's better than being a host at a restaurant to where if you tried to be an ounce of yourself or an ounce of personality, you would get looked at, you you know, you have like fucking, they would look at me like I have five heads. Like, they're like, oh, why aren't you miserable? Why aren't you miserable working this job? Like, we're all miserable working. Why aren't you miserable? I'm like, maybe because I 
I fucking see more out of life, I guess. I'm th- This isn't my fucking dead-end job. Like, you guys will fucking stay here forever because you're waiting for something to happen. I'm constantly fucking working. I'm constantly working on stuff to give me a better tomorrow. I'm not just stuck in a fucking situation. Like, listen, man. So that's why I'm saying this week started off crazy because I, you know, I had to go for job, uh, yeah, a job interview. This is like the, that, and especially this, you know, a, a, a game operating job. I grew up in fucking Coney Island. Drug addicts I saw work in the fucking games. You know what I'm saying? Those fucking balloon dark games. Fucking drug addicts. There's a video I made, the, the old podcast I used to do. We did a summer edition, a, a summer blockbuster event where I, I, I was on camera at Coney Island on the boardwalk doing some fun things and I remember walking one of the jokes I had as I was walking past the people that would harass you I don't want to be one of those people by the way I'm not going to harass people to play a game I know people if you want to play a game you play the fucking game you're not going to play a game after somebody goes in the air like oh come on come on come on come on I don't want to get stabbed so um I I fucking you know so I'm, I'm imagining I'm like what could this you know interview be about I had to meet them at Coney Island their offices whatever and I'm like what it did, so it was a simple five minute like formal but my first formal interview for a job I've had to get and I'm like and they're like why did you why did you want to apply for this job I'm like eh, I need money <laughs> I uh, hello same reason why you're here honey I need fucking dough I can't keep fucking you know spraying my fucking EBT money at the fucking strip club no more I need fresh dollar dollar bills crisp crisp but. You know, um, I, I'm, I'm very excited. Um, you know, of course, nervous, new job, whatever. But what are you going to do? It's at the fucking beach. I'll be there for every, for almost every day, part-time. I'll be there in the fucking summer at the fucking beach at Coney Island. Come on. I mean, like, come on. I mean, you know, it. fucking, it, it, you have to make, you know, listen to me. I had no job before. Now I got one. So, uh, you know, well, you got to be happy. Gotta be happy. So I'll let you guys know how it is. Um, hopefully, you know, I would love to bring my camera once, but not not while I'm working, but after work, whatever, I'll be able to film at Coney Island. There's fireworks every single Friday. So, you know, hope maybe some content comes out of it. But this is for my fucking pocket. Um, speaking of, like I said, you know, like this these past couple of months, this past month, whatever, Turbo's starting to go through, like, big boy stuff. Like, adu- I've been getting adult mail. From the insurance I was talking to you about before. I'm getting adult mail now. Do you remember as a kid, you know, you would like, you know, your mom, you know, your dad, whatever. Like, oh, mail, oh, bills, bills. And as a kid, you were always like, did, what, did I get any mail? Oh, did, did I get? The government doesn't even know you exist. Um, and, and you're like excited when you do get something in the mail, like when your grandma would send a card for your birthday, or, you know, you uh, let's say you had a birthday at Chuck E. Cheese's, and, and then Chuck E. Cheese sends a birthday thing afterwards and has your name on it, you're like, oh my god, the fucking mail sent me a fucking card, you know, like, you're happy, but now you, st- like, now I'm starting to realize, mail is not fun, I mean, you know, the, the, the insurance mail I'm getting now, it, 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 it sometimes it's so stupid, and it's so, like, you know, like, I, I knew this shit already, and they give you a little heart attack. Like, hi, uh, Mr. Bubba we're here to inform you, blah, blah, blah. and I'm like, and the first time that you're like, that's it, I got no more insurance, if I break a leg, take it off, like, I, what do I do? And, you know, it, it, it's just that fucking sense in the world, like, oh my god, like, I, I know that that's why I'm, I, I feel like I'm in such a weird spot, because I know I'm only 22, but I feel like life's behind me, and what? can't even fucking enjoy life. I feel like I'm 85 years old. I, I don't listen to me, people. You don't even know a lot of the shit I'm going through also. There's this shit I don't want to put on here. But, but, you know, you know, I, I would if my mom wasn't home. Believe me. If, if no one was in ear range of hearing me, I would fucking rant right now with what's been going on. But it's okay. We're here. We breathe. <sighs> the, the, the therapist told me that. Um, uh, yeah, so like, I don't. I I I now understand the depression that would go through my grandmother's veins. The depression that would go through my father's veins, my mother's veins, when they would see a bill in the mail. Like, imagine working your life, and then you work, you make your money, and then you get a bill in the mail. Like, oh, you used your light bulb a hundred dollars. Like, listen, I, if I was president of the United States, everything free, lights, gas. Gasoline. 
Not in my gasoline. That would be the song I come out with. You know how Trump was like, what was it? Like, oh, the USA born. Whatever the fuck he used. My song would be, Not in my gasoline. Hoop, not in gasoline. And every time I hoop, I'm like, hoop. Like, I, I, like a, one of those fucking, like those tribe dances. Like, who dun, 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 who Like I would show dominance that way. Um... Yeah, no, so if, listen to me, I've been, get, I, I got, fuck it, I came home from the dentist, I came home from the dentist that I got the insurance for, I came back from the dentist, get mail from the insurance, I'm like, get away from, people, stop bothering me, <laughs> like, jeez Louise, that, imagine the day where I'm gonna have more fucking adult mail, and I'm gonna have more fucking bills, and I'm gonna have more fucking people from the government trying to find me, I'll run, Tijuana, bitch, Tijuana, um, this next th topic I want to talk about, you know, it's not that crazy. Um, if you do watch the weekly issue, guys, I'm just going to say this. I've been having a lot of fun with that podcast, guys. I, I, there's, there's a whole other side of me right now that you guys don't even probably know about. If you haven't subscribed or gone to the weekly issue podcast. We're almost at 100 subs on the weekly issue podcast before even 10 episodes came out. You motherfuckers. We're trying to grow something here. Okay, I'm into MCU, Marvel, you know, I, I loved Marvel growing up, loved Spider-Man, you know, Hulk, shit like that. Um, then when the MCU movies came out, yeah, I was into them, but never really got into, into them like my friend Vinny is, who's my co-host in that podcast. And, you know, I'm starting to like, ever since Endgame, that's when I said, okay, you know what, I fucked up by not, I, I, I saw Civil War in the movies, I saw those MCU movies when they would come out sometimes, and I watched them eventually, like, I wasn't not paying attention to that whole saga before Endgame, when it was happening, I paid attention, but it's not like I am now to where after Endgame, in the theater, when I saw Endgame, I was like, oh shit, they're gonna do a whole other fucking, like, world now, like, they're starting up again after Endgame, oh shit, I'm going to be on the ball with my Marvel and Marvel content um, going forward. And I have been, um, even though I didn't watch all the episodes. Hey, listen, I'm not going to fucking watch every single episode from start to finish. I'm not one of those guys. Give me the main idea. Give me the, give me the plot. Give me the little Easter eggs. Give me the questions we got to ask going forward. And give me a nice little cookie to end the day. That's all I want. Vinny is, oh my god, Vinny fucking watches it. He makes sure he gets all the fucking innuendos. He knows what's going to happen next. He knows what's going to happen in five fucking years time. Like, Vinny is that guy. So, from that podcast, I've been reading a lot more comic books. Um, I've been wanting to go to comic book stores to get some stuff for the backdrop. To When we when we do the podcast, I change the backdrop, if you don't know. I want to get more fucking action figures, some more comics to put in the back. Um, that's really made me... Um, take my brain away in a way that last night I was, I was, I started reading a Dr. Doom, the books of doom, the six issues. If you didn't, if you're not into comic books, MCU, whatever the case may be, I, if you, everybody, if I was born in 2000, okay, I grew up with the, 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 the Sony fantastic or the Foxes, the Foxes, fantastic fours. Okay, um, or was it Sony on the fucking show? The old Fantastic Fours, the, the the from the Rise of the Silver Surfer, the first one, um, and then the, the the I didn't watch the other. I, I did not watch that fucking other Fantastic Four with Michael B. Jordan because I heard it was fucking dog cock, and I don't even want to touch it. Um, but I'm just gonna say this: it's it's like it take it takes me away from. The, the stress of this and this used to be you know comedy youtube podcast this used to be my hobby this used to take me away from my ordinary life when i was in school when i was fucking junior high school high school and going through all the bullshit and stress for school so now when this has become my main fucking life and i i, I couldn't find you know yeah i want to go play golf here and there which i'll talk about like, i want to play more golf this summer um, I would go play golf, I would go play basketball, you know, of course, when the weather would only be nice, though, um, in the winter, what do you do, you know, so, and I couldn't really get into something, so when we started this podcast, me and Vinny with MCU, DC, Star Wars, um, I got into that side of me again, I feel like a fucking nerd, motherfuckers, I've been playing Marvel Snap, another game that, indeed, in Marvel Snap, I gotta pay me a big paycheck if I get somewhere one day, because Marvel Snap has taken over my life, Marvel Snap is like a Pokemon, like a card game, it's like, it's like a fucking card game, but it has to do with the fucking, you know, where's my phone, where's my fucking phone, where's my phone, where's my fucking phone, you know what? You know what? I'll fucking show you. I'll show you my fucking cards. I'll show you my cards. Right now, let me let me scooch up. 
Let me scoot up. How you doing? How's the battery going? Good? Got, got battery? Okay. Um, oh, how you doing? Okay, so Marvel Snap is a fucking card game, you know? It's a fucking card game. Very loud. Um, oh, what the fuck you got here? Okay, so it's a card game. It's a Marvel fucking card. Let me get my free points. Let me get my 24 hour free points. Let me get my free credits. My free credits. Let me get my credits. There you go. Um, I'm a fucking nerd for this shit. I never liked those card games. I always, when I was in school and I made believe I know how to play Pokemon, I would throw cards down. I'd be like, yeah, and what? And I'd, I'd lose to a table full of fucking, you know, people who mastered down Pokemon. They were heavy trainers, that we call them, heavy trainers. Um, look at my thing. So I got Hulk. With the fucking animated frame. I would put this on screen, but I don't want to edit it. Um, I got the animated frame Hulk. Okay, fucking maxed out there. I got fucking shiny logo fucking Iron Man. All right? I just got this beautiful car that I would like to max out because even though it doesn't have the greatest fucking abilities or whatever, it's still fucking a nice card nonetheless. Um, where is he? Can't fucking find him. It's Vision, though. I got the fucking Watcher. Characters that I think are not used a lot in fucking Marvel, but what are you going to do? They were just in the show What If, but that's it. Um... Where the fuck is... I, can't, I, can't, I couldn't find Vision yesterday. He's for... What is he? Fucking bland? Fucking bland... Uh, fucking dull color card? What the fuck? Anyway, you know what I mean. So these are my cards. Okay? These are my cards. And you play. You verse people. They have points. They, uh, they have abilities. And I've been getting heavy into it. So that's been taking me away. I, I, I've never, ever, ever... The last time I was addicted to a game like this... Had to probably be. be. Because I'm playing it every day. I wake up and I want to play it. I want to get to the next fucking level. You want to know why? Because this game makes you fucking play to unlock shit. They make you play to, sh to show. And they show you what you're playing for. Well, there's a lot of games I grew up with where, like, Call of Duty, they're dying because the fucking play-to-earn ability and abilities in that fucking game. But it used to be, you play to earn this, you play to earn that, you know what you're playing for. Now, it's just fucking season pass. Fucking use, use your family's credit card to get all that shit first. Now, don't, don't play for it. Don't, don't, don't work for it. So this game, a mobile game, why don't you? I think the last time I was addicted to a phone game like this... Had to be that fucking jetpack thing. What was that jetpack game called? Jetpack Joyride? Is that what it's called? Jet. If I got that fucking name right, and I know you motherfuckers know what game I'm talking about. Is that what it's called? Jetpack Joyride? That How did I remember this game? Holy shit. I mean, of course I remember the game, but... Not the name... Wow. All right. So that game was the last one I was, I was addicted to. Blah, blah, blah. Addicted to. I remember being in my uh, in Vinny's car. Vin, Vinny used to pick me up every day for junior high school. Because um, his sister used to go to school where I used to live. So they would drop her off, pick me up. And then me and Vinny went to school close to each other. So his mom dropped us off. Wonderful family. Love you guys. Um, and... We would play those games. We would play fucking... You know, then, all right, fucking family. Jesus. God damn, all right, we understand, you're hosting fucking Easter. Wait, what? Oh, okay, never mind, okay. All right, it's a birthday party. Happy birthday, Ricky. Turn 25. Um, so yeah, I, I'm just, I, I'm happy that I, I, I now got into, because I was never like into comic books. Like for some reason, I was like, I would read a comic and I'm like, oh, this doesn't fit with my vision of what Spider-Man should be. Then I learned about the fucking multiverse, and then like, and MCU was always a multiverse. I thought the multiverse was only being done in the movies. I thought that comic books, any artist or writer who wants to make Spider-Man like this are going to make him like that. I didn't really know, like, oh, it could make sense. There's a bunch of spider Into the Spider-Verse, the, the new movies coming out into the Spider-Verse. The fucking Disney XD Spider-Man is involved in that. So that, that's why I'm trying to say, like, the PS4 Spider-Man's involved in that new movie. Um, so, so, I don't know, something really got me, um, heavy involved into, uh, my comic books, stuff like that, um, since we started doing the podcast, so, um, that's cool, um, that's why, okay, th this is why I brought this fucking shit up, um, some of the shows that MCU, DC, whatever the case may be, 
um, Star Wars, when it, when it's animated, when it's like cartoon, maybe I'm the same, uh, maybe I'm different, maybe I, I can relate to a lot of you guys. When it's cartoon and it's animated, I can't get like fully immersed in it. Even if they say the story's canon, story means the same thing. When it's animated, for some reason, of course, when it's animated, they're making it more for kids, I feel, in that sense. So the writing is going to be a little bit more PG-13. It's going to be filled with a lot more of those corny lines we heard in the real fucking Ant-Man movie, Quantumania, where the fucking Cassie, his daughter, was saying fucking corny lines right after the other. Right after the other. And in animated shows... Yeah, it's a lot of corny fuck. I was trying to watch when I because I, I mentioned in the weekly issue podcast that I watched the Spider Man early '90s cartoons to learn about the villains and the different types of shit that Spider Man the character goes through, so I can get introduced to it. To if they do something in the in the real movies, that helped me a ton. I said, okay, let me now watch the, the cartoon for Avengers. See main MCU villains or heroes that I'm not familiar with and learn about. I, I got two episodes in, I couldn't fucking do it. The way Iron Man just talking like that, like, come on, gang, like that type of shit, I, I, I can't watch it. I, I'm like, I, th- th- it, I, I'm not immersed, I, I, I can't, I'm on my phone playing Marvel Snap, it's not a good sign. I don't know, for some reason, like, I, I, me and my friend Vinny, we always bust each other's balls because he loves Clone Wars. I like Clone Wars, I like the story Star Wars did with Clone Wars, but anything pre- Episode three or anything pre, like you know, um, you know, uh, rise of Darth Vader. We all know what's gonna fucking happen. So why are we seeing more stories pre episode? And you guys, this is a lot of conversation for the weekly issue podcast. People here that don't want to wa- watch that are like, stop talking about it. We're not going there because we don't want to hear that shit. But it's my life. Come on, it's now. Oh, and I'm spinning like a fucking ton. You're gonna see a lot of spray. I don't want to live. Forever. Um, I mentioned before I want to golf a lot more this summer. Um, by the way, maybe a short fucking podcast. Like I said, you're seeing this the day it's going on, so I don't want to be a long podcast. Um, it's gonna be a very short one. Um, golf. I want to golf a lot more, man. Even though I'm gonna have a job this summer now, and you know, of course, more times to be taken away. Um, I, I want to golf more. You know, I, 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 this summer I want to make it a f- because when I golf. I'm the guy that, you know, sets his club down, you know, gets his nice swing motion, tries to get into the rhythm, tries to have fun, but right when my father says something like, you want to put a dollar on the game, money gets involved, competition starts, and then I can't have fun. Once the competition starts, I want to see my father's blood on the fucking grass. I want to see flesh. In the fucking tee box. I want to play golf this summer, but not like that. I want to have fun. I want to be relaxed, more relaxed. I remember my father one time. I was so relaxed. I was busting balls with a guy that looked like a fucking drill sergeant. The guy was fucking had to be two fifty, six three maybe. And I'm just staring at him. I'm fucking like what five one whatever. I'm staring at him. And I'm just like, how you? I'm like, let me tell you something, guy. I'm like, you remind me of like a drill sergeant. I'm like, I feel like you're about to slap me with that driver. He started laughing. He thought I had a sense of humor. He thought I was having a good time. My father the whole time was like, I, I, terrible. Did you hit the the fucking ball? Hit the fucking ball. I'm like, dad. I'm, 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 you're the one acting like a clown at a circus every time you go to a Met game with your fucking jean shorts. I try to bust some balls. You get embarrassed. Why? Because you think your son's funnier than you. Slippers. Um, no, listen to me. I want to play golf more. Um, that, that a hundred and ten percent, you'll be seeing some sort of golf funny on the course, busting balls. You think if you think me and my dad are typical fucking polo shirt wearing, fucking Mr. White guy, fucking golf sipping on margaritas. We are not like that whatsoever, okay? We literally go there. My dad has on fucking basketball shorts sometimes, a guinea tee, a fucking wife beater tank top. I'm there with my tie-dye shirts looking like Turbo just won the fucking lottery. And I'm there with sometimes some funny glasses. And I want the other people to know that come there with their sons thinking they're the next Tiger Woods, thinking they're the next fuck, you know, they're the hot shit. 
I played with a ton of kids my age, a ton of kids older, adults, that they think they are God. They think they are top shit. They think this swing was manufactured by Zeus himself, and they don't even interact with you because they think you're below them. You know what I'm saying? I bust those I bust those people's balls. I bust chops with those people a lot more than I do a nice guy that, you know, is has having fun with us the same way. So I this time around want to do that more often. The wanting my father's blood on the grass, getting mad, throwing shit. That's gonna happen. Cause it is golf, and even when I'm having fun, I do want to play good. I did take losses as a kid. My parents did waste money. I gotta make him proud. Um, but I think, listen to me, every time I pick up the club again for the first time, that's usually my fucking best time. Then I play again, all shit, out the window, what did I do wrong? So, that's why you love golf, man. Because it, it, it just, it's never perfected. You, you, you can never perfect your fucking game. That's why a lot of guys beat their wives, I think, back in the day. Because golf was a lot more popular back in the day. And the frustrations they took out on the golf course. The golf course gave them more frustration. And where are they going? Home. Who's home? Their wife. Who's also home? Their kids. That's why dad got the boot in the fucking retirement home when he turned 50. No, you're, you're good. We don't want you. That's a theory. You sexy bastards. Um, I will keep you updated. With my fun summer job I got coming up, um, uh, the podcast don't change. The weekly issue podcast doesn't change. Nothing's going to change. Um, you sexy bastards, I love you so, 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 so much. Um, like I said, um, this job did come at a good time because, you know, recently, um, you know, just life gets to you sometimes, man. And, 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 I, and I know I, I'm making myself somewhat feel better thinking like this because... Every comic I watch, every comedian who I listen to, podcast wise, stand up, I don't think it's gonna be, they tell me, or me, on the podcast, whatever, they, they, they say that the amount of times they've had moments where they put their head down, like, what the fuck am I doing with my life? Is this all worth it? Did I waste time in my life trying to be a stand up comic? I've had those moments a lot more these past couple of months than I've had anyway in the past years, because I've, I've always had those thoughts. Um, but when I see people like you guys still coming out to the show, still watching, still listening, still actually giving a fuck, um, all the Aiden Ross fans that came to watch my podcast last week, um, I gotta say thank you so much. I love you. Um, listen to me. Uh, I'm, I'm dripping with sweat. Um, I do gotta take a shower because like I said, I, this cake has sauce, this cake, this fucking shirt has sauce on it. It was, it, it's cake to my skin. Um, I got dumbbells now, so prepare me to get fucking jacked, okay? Next episode, if I'm not lifting that dumbbell by my balls, there's a problem because that means there's no progress being made and the dumbbells are a little weak for my liking. <laughs> <laughs>